Welcome aboard. Please take a seat for your Dove audio experience. Firstly, let me take you through the safety and comfort features of our aircraft, which is the de Havilland Dove Mark 8, which first flew in 1961. Your seat is fitted with a seat belt, which fastens and unfastens in the normal manner. Under your seat you will find a life jacket container. Unfortunately, the life jackets are no longer serviceable and have been removed. However, don't worry, we aren't flying over water today. You will notice that the aircraft is fitted with ashtrays. However, in line with current requirements, smoking is not permitted in the cabin or toilet area at any time. For your comfort, we have fresh air ducts above your head and heating is provided at floor level. This is controlled by the pilot, so be nice to him. Your aircraft today is G Area. Originally a company dove demonstrator, it was later used as an executive transport by BAE executives based in Hatfield. It's fitted with a bar, including an ice box at the rear. However, sadly it's not stocked for our short flight today. Seating in this executive version of the Dove was normally for 5 to 6, whilst the standard version of the Dove could seat between 8 to 11, depending on whether or not there was a toilet and the size of the rear luggage hold. We are about to start our engine, so please fasten your seatbelt. Ensure your seat is upright and the table folded away. While we are taxiing to the end of the runway, allow me to give you a little information about the Dove. The Dove was designed by a team at de Havilland under the direction of Roland Bishop, who was responsible for the Mosquito and the Comet. The prototype first flew on the 25th of September 1945, which was also the 25th anniversary of the founding of the de Havilland Aircraft Company. The Dove was the first all-metal aircraft to use redux bonding to attach the stringers to the wing and fuselage panels, which reduced the number of rivets used, resulting in an aerodynamically cleaner exterior. The Dove was considered to be one of Britain's most successful post-war designs, with a total of 544 aircraft built, including the two prototypes. They were registered in over 60 countries for civilian use, and flew in military service where they were called Devons, or Sea Devons, in over 20 countries. The largest user was Argentina, which eventually took 70 aircraft. The RAF and RNZAF each took 30 aircraft. For those of you that are fans of the Netflix series The Crown, you may remember seeing a Devon in seasons 2 and 3. The Dove also appeared in a number of films, including The Life and Death of Peter Sellers, Flash Gordon and Tarzan and the Lost Safari, whilst television appearances include The Saint, The New Avengers and The A-Team. Today we will be cruising at 8,000 feet, which will give us great views of the countryside through the large panoramic windows. Our aircraft is powered by two Gypsy Queen engines, which are rated at 400 horsepower, giving us a maximum cruising speed of 187 miles per hour. Whilst the Dove was typically used for flights of 200 to 300 miles, our Dove was capable of 850 miles with standard fuel tanks, and 1175 miles with the addition of an extra tank. Development of the Dove resulted in the four-engine Heron, which you can see next door, and the de Havilland Australia designed three-engine Drover. We are coming to the end of our flight. That is the end of our audio experience. We hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to take all your belongings with you and mind your head when you exit via the rear door. Thank you. Very, very amazing. <laughs>